Hi, I'm Angel with GiantScaleNews.com, and I'm here with Sean from High Tech. Hi, Sean. Hi, Angel. How you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Doing, doing excellent. Awesome. Um, Sean, I wanted to ask you some questions about your uh, remotes. Can you tell me something about right. them? Right. So uh, these are the three latest chargers. We got the X1 Mini, the X2 AC Plus, and the X2 AC Pro. So the X1 Mini does 2 to 4S LiPo AC only. Uh, street price of 45 bucks. So if you're looking for an entry level charger that will do just about anything, lithium, nickel metal, but uh, the sweet spot of batteries, 2 to 4S, up to uh, 6 amps. It's a perfect little charger for a great price. We have the X2 AC Plus, which is uh, it's 100 watts AC, uh, 200 watts DC. What's unique about this is you can actually split power between the two ports. So you can make one, pow one port more powerful than the other, or you can make them both equal. So if you're charging one big battery and one small battery, you can direct the power where you need it and charge it more efficiently. Then over here, we have the X2 AC Pro. So this is the big daddy of a two-port two charger. You've got 300 watts. You can also split the power, but you've got a built-in charging or soldering iron to take care of those needs, whether you're at the track, whether it's your field and you need to do some soldering, it's built in right there for you. You don't have to take a separate shot soldering iron. So those three chargers are our newest ones. They're doing very well. I can't even keep it in stock. I wish I could make them faster. So if you have one on back order, be a little bit, a little bit patient. We're going to get to them the next couple of weeks. We get another shipment on, but it's been a great charger for us. So we got $45 for the Mini. It's $100 street price for the X2 AC, and then $200 for the X2 AC Pro. Awesome. That sounds amazing. I really like the, the soldering iron included in there. It's cool. Um, can you talk to me a little bit about your remotes that you have on display here? Sure. So we have the, uh, the Aurora 9X. This is the latest in the Aurora series, so it's much more faster. It's high resolution, 4096 resolution on all nine channels. It'll fly not only all the high-tech receivers, but it also flies the SLT or tactic style receivers. So it does multi-protocols. We have the Flash 8 and the Flash 7. The Flash 7 is going to be our entry-level computer radio. And then the Flash 8. Then this Flash 8 actually has some, uh, some aftermarket after long, to extra long sticks. But very easy to use, great price. Still 4096 resolution, very fast. Does all the receivers and the SLT receivers. So. If you're looking for an entry-level computer radio, the Flash 7 and the Flash 8 are very, very good ones to choose from. Awesome. Um, you guys also sell airplanes, right? We, uh, we have the multiplex line of aircraft and the weekender line, but I'm going to show you some of the new multiplex airplanes right over here. Ooh, yeah, take me that way. So first of all, which has been a, a great little airplane here at the show, the, the boys have been flying it nonstop. This is the Parkmaster Pro. So this is the latest iteration of the Parkmaster series. Multiplex took the old Parkmaster and made it even better. It looks great. It flies phenomenal. It is a, a profile foamy, but how it's more than a profile foamy. You got a real wing. You've got uh, a more than just a flat foam fuselage. It's very durable, made out of the Elipore foam. Uh, this one uses uh, HS65 servos. So if you want to fly hardcore 3D, not just inside but outside, even in a little wind, the Parkmaster Pro is the one to do it with. It, for me, this is the easiest plane I've ever flown to Knife Edge, so a lot of fun. But again, if you want hardcore 3D, the Parkmaster Pro is a great way to go. And then Multiplex has gotten nostalgic this year, so we got they uh, they've brought back the Twin Star 2. This is the brushless version of it, so it's designed from the get-go for the brushless brushless uh, motors. Twin Star has been a great performance. It's been around for more than a dozen years. Very stable, a twin, everybody loves a twin. It's easy to fly, it looks good. It's also a great FPV platform because it is so smooth. And with the, since the, the motor's on the side, not in the front, you can put the video camera in the front and it's not gonna be looking through the prop. So it makes a great FPV playing. Then of course, we got the Rockstar over here. So everybody loves a biplane. And we did not disappoint with the Multiplex Rockstar. It is a big honking biplane. <laughs> Flies like a much bigger plane than it is, actually is, but as far as high performance 3D, it'll fly pattern. Uh, it's just a great airplane. It looks awesome in the air, and as a bipe is, it slows down incredibly quick. It'll land in a super tight area and take off in about five or six feet, but tons of power right out of the box. A lot of fun, 3D capable, but just everybody loves a bite. This one looks great, and it's a lot of fun. And all the multiplex en engineering and multiplex quality, second to none. So we're having a good time with them. Nice. Awesome. Um, how long has your company been around for? Well, high tech's been around for more than 25 years. And Multiplex is actually the oldest company in RC that is still in existence. Oh, wow. So there's some serious history there. And uh, you know, Multiplex is a German company that high tech bought quite a few years ago. 
Uh, multiplex is almost like a religion for people in the RC community, especially the, uh, the, the people that came over from Europe and the glider community. When they say multiplex, it's, it's spoken with a reverence. And, and that's why even here, everybody knows when you say multiplex, when it comes to foam airplanes, it means quality. All right, guys, I'm Angel with GiantScaleNews.com. And uh, we hope you have a great day. Thank you, Angel. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.